Hey everyone, Slothcakes here, and welcome back to some more Gundam Battle Operation 2. Now today I'm going to show you guys a match with a very cool looking mobile suit, and when I say cool, I think this thing is beautiful looking. From head to toe, his aesthetic is very nice. It reminds me a lot of the heavy Gundam, but just with a... well, it's not just a little bit, with a lot of things changed to him. Mostly because they have the same gun. But, it's going to be the level 2, 400 cost, general type, Pale Rider Calvary. Now this is part of the Pale Rider family, which is a branch of the Exam family. Now the, um, before I get into more things, I want to show you guys my build right here. Now the Pale Rider Calvary is a much more, kind of a range based one. He does have a good amount of weapons on him, but he can still go up and smack the enemy, which is nice. Now to go over the weapons, like I said, they're similar to the heavy Gundams. Well, some of them are. He has this very large Gatling gun on his right arm. I do like machine guns. They're not great in this game. Machine guns, on the most part, aren't really good on general types. Unless you have a consistent stun. The Cold District is nice just because you have a grenade launcher so you can stun. But an example, if you were choosing the Akzaku and use the Akzaku machine gun, there's a reason no one runs it, because you just gave up a stun. So, thankfully this guy has other options. Machine gun's still nice. He has rockets that you can shoot out of the same gun. Land enough of them, they will stun. Very cool. He has this uh, beam cannon on the same gun. This thing is chock load of weapons. You stop when you shoot it. It does take a second, but it does a fair amount of damage, and it stuns on hit. Also, just to make things uh, awesome, it doesn't overheat when you uh, shoot it. You can shoot it like twice and it'll overheat, or you can just wait a little bit. But I do like the gun that doesn't overheat in one shot and stuns in one hit, and doesn't need a charge, so that's cool. But other than that, he's got you know, the head Vulcans, but his melee weapon is the Beam Javelin. Prototype Gundam also has this weapon. It's a nice melee weapon. It has some great reach to it. It's just the swings are very uh, vertical. Well, not vertical. They're very straight in whatever direction they're going. Side swings are just going to go perfectly horizontal. His forward swing is just going to go straight and not go low at all. So unless the enemy is very really thick, you're really not going to hit them. Back swing is just like you, this over the shoulder like you just saw. It's a stab downwards. Nice for hitting grounded enemies. What you want to do is you want to make sure where the range is because the hitbox is only at that beam part at the end. So you don't want to be really close to them, then backswing and miss like if they're grounded. You want to be at a little bit of a distance so the backswing connects, so like the end of the javelin connects with their legs. Because if you go really close, the end of the javelin might connect with their like chest. Or worse, it might connect with their shield. So you really want to be careful about that. Because the only hitbox is the beam part. So you gotta just be wary of that. Because, you know, I, I miss my things all the time. And when I give this advice and stuff, it's not like I'm an expert player. I'm just telling you things that I've messed up on. And trust me, I always mess up on the range of things. Like, I'll, I'll swing a heat hawk and think, Huh, I, I remember my heat hawk being longer. Or I would do like some long swing and I've been like, I was just a hair off. I always feel like that. I always feel like all my melee weapons are a lot longer than they actually are. But when someone else uh, tries to melee me because of latency or something, they hit me from like the fourth dimension. It's, it's really weird. I have to be frame perfect for my melee swings, but everyone else can just do some weird shinobi thing and just slice me from a mile away. But oh well, what can you do? So now the biggest uh, claim to fame about this guy is the obvious Pale Rider name. The namesake holds the Hades system. A branch of the exam system, it acts very similar. You touch the touchpad, it pops. You are invincible when it activates it. It does a really cool sound. How cool is the sound? Well, let me play it for you guys. <laughs> Now that's a cool sound, like, come on. That sound, beautiful. It's almost as beautiful, actually, 
I do not know. But if you guys want to tell me down in the comments, what do you guys like more? Do you guys like the Hades sound or the exam sound? Let me play you guys both of them again just because I want to hear the Hades sound again. Now let's hear the exam sound. I don't know. I, I like both of them. Like, I really like the exam sound just because, like, it it's very, like, just... It's just a nice sound. I just love the exam system so much. Like, oh god, it's so cool. But the Hades sound, I do like it because it does sound like it's dying and it's being possessed. That that's a nice sound. But going more into those systems, honestly, a big thing of why I like the exam system so much is it's a very nice way to make a uh, what is it? A very nice way to make a mech have a shonen power up. Like, you know, going Super Saiyan or the, uh, stuff like that. Because, you know, it is a robot grounded in some form of reality. It just becoming stronger doesn't really make sense. But I like the idea of this mode turns off the suit's limiters and turns off the safety features that are found in most technology, like cars and stuff. So that is cool. And, you know, this is just a personal thing. I've said this before, but, I, you know, I'll say it again. I think the Hades system, no, I think the exam system is a better made and better written MTD system found in Unicorn. I just like it a lot more, I feel like it's more grounded in a reality. I know it has ghosts and stuff, but like, that's, that can be ambiguous, you know? It could just be because the pilot's brain is, you know, being fried. But I just think it's better because, you know, the, the suit doesn't like transform, it just backpack gets bigger and stuff. I think how it's treated is cooler, you know, the suit doesn't... I just like it, you know? Maybe it's because I like gyms, or maybe it's because I don't really like the Unicorn Gundam. I do like the Unicorn Gundam when it's in Unicorn mode. I, I'm not a big fan of it in Destroy mode, personally. I don't know why. I think it's the red. Or mostly because I also don't like the model kit, because it's just a white... It's, it's just a white model kit. Uh, well, that, that's... I'm, I'm getting really sidetracked here. <laughs> I would say go read uh, or watch Blue Destiny, but none of it is localized. It's... I don't think it's ever getting localized. It's in the same boat as a uh, Crossbone Gundam. It, we're never gonna get an animation of that. Which, you know, it's not that. Eh. I wish we got, like, personally, I wish we got a uh, MS Igloos type of story again. You know, not in CGI. But with Gundam side stories. Because if you guys don't know MS Igloo, you know, it besides it being having like really janky CGI, it had a lot of like small stories in one like movie quote quote. But I wish they did that again, but it's just a bunch of like side stories, like short side stories compacted in like a 12 episode anime. Because, you know, some stories can be told really fast. Like, Blue Destiny is not that long of a story. The series with uh, the Pixie Gundam, not that long of a story. There's... Actually, I can't remember if the unit... Uh, 4 and 5 story was that. I think it's called, like, MS Memory or something like that. But that's something I've always wanted. But uh, we're, we're just getting... We're just gonna keep on getting sidetracked here. But I gotta say, that suit's face looks beautiful. But anyways, here's our score. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay of the Pale Rider Calvary type. We got a really good score. I, <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to half the part, but alright, we'll take that. But like usual, Sloth Cakes here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll try to get more videos out for you guys. It's just I've been really busy. So check out my streams if you want to. Recommend things if you want to see them. But like usual, bye-bye. Have a good one, and hope to see you next time.